When the comment was made um, that, well, we've already been to the moon, uh, why should we go back? Um, I found that a bothersome comment because it was my father's generation that went to the moon. And I usually look at someone and say, well, have you been to the moon? What have you done? And the answer is they haven't. And it's been a generation. It is underfunded. It has been underfunded for years. And if we're going to prioritize science and the innovations that space can give us, we are going to have to fund it. It's not surprising to me that, that the public is a little jaded, a little bored. I mean, the shovel was supposed to be routine, and it was, uh, as long as it worked. And so it didn't engage people in quite the same way as, as was the case in the 60s. I think if the budget continues to be reduced, and there's not a, a, a focus and you don't have an outside group and you don't have an administrator who has content, continuity, you may very well see decline. The president cannot steamroll these things through and make them happen. Uh, he has to have cooperation from the Congress. I think there's something like 16 or 18 different agencies that are charged with studying the weather. And a large part of NASA is focused on studying the weather. We don't have any other agencies charged with doing space flight, and we've got over a dozen that do weather. The last uh, few years, there have been 27 NASA programs that have been canceled, with a consequence of about $20 billion of money that was expended on the canceled programs essentially being wasted. Live a day without space assets. What would you do? Uh, you're not going to use your GPS to drive anywhere. Right now, China may very well beat us back to the moon. 